Hi, Carol here and welcome back to my craft room. I took a short break after the last video. I'm sorry that it was cut off, but I'll carry on. And I had to run out to the store with my daughter-in-law. That's my mink. It's ready. I just turned it on because I'm going to put through this foil from the Heidi Swap mink set and I'm going to use the smile so it'll keep beeping at you like that and let's get these out I came up with a few ideas I'm going to show you that in a second here now when I take stuff out of my I've learned this from experience here when I take it out of the bag I fold it instantly because I have gotten so many things stuck on that when I'm taking it out. It's crazy. So I want to find a word. These are really big. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see if the smile is too big. Hello is excellent. So that's what I'm going to put here. So let's put these aside. Aren't they big? Wow, that's awesome. Now, I went to Walmart and to my stationery store to pick up my 140-pound cardstock. And most of you that are watching do follow my video, so you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you're new, I went to Beady Stationery. I'm from Canada. And I want to just express my sincere appreciation to those that made our freedom what it is today. And for your American um, Memorial Day, I just want to know that um, I am very thankful for everybody that made the sacrifice so that we could have our freedom. So I want to make sure that I send that out. And as a Canadian, we enjoy our freedom as well because of many that sacrificed and are still sacrificing for the freedom that we hold dear that I hold dear. So let, I'll move on. I just wanted to mention that. So we're going to put this in the sheet that I cut up from the make machine. So you want to put it in with it, the black up and then you're going to use the foil. I'm going to use the green here. And I want to make sure I don't waste any so I will go like that and then you just want to cut it off so I will cut it right here with my scissors I got as a gift from my friend Virginia hi Virginia there we are okay so Let's run that through the mink so you can see how I have it set up there. You can kind of see the, there's the hello on that side. You want to make sure that all that black is covered and my machine is just off to the left. We let that go. Now, I don't know if I got it in my last video, the one previous here, but I grabbed some of these letters I had in my stash of of um, you know the ones you get at Michael's all the lettering I can't remember the name of it and I just had this on my desk I needed a couple of letters for a project so it was black and it had a little kind of fleck in it and I know these uh, these were from Walmart but you can get them at um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby whatever big box store you shop in so I set the foil over it and ran it through the mink machine and looky here, it came out gold. Can you see that? So I would check. Um, I was just there too, and uh, I didn't want to get any more because I literally have a case of all different ty types of letters. So I'm going to put the black ones up on the top and test them out. So they came out and got the sticky on them already. Isn't this awesome? Just stick it on my nail there. Can you see the gold on there? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Wow, I was shocked. And you can see the that came out perfectly on my foil. So I'll be using that from now on. 
So quickly, I will show, before we move on to here, somebody had asked me about this 140 pound cardstock. I just ordered a case and I'm going to show you. What they told me there is that they buy it from a, a print store. They don't have a name, it's whoever they deal with for their company, BD's Basics. So they didn't even, you know, you have to go through a stationery store and ask them for 140 pound weight. They get these in large sheets at their print store, not, or it's called the, a print shop. Yet they do printing there at BD's and they cut it from larger sections of huge cardstock, they told me. And then they order it in to do their printing and it's 140 pound. It's amazing. Well, this one I did another, I did a hundred black sheets because I'm going to gift some of these out. And I didn't look at my receipt, but to get this stock is 60 cents, I told you a piece, 60 cents a piece for this. And then I had these black toner sheets, which they will print off for you. I got 50 more printed off. And so that now I have 100 sheets, which is awesome. I got two sets of 50 right here. And I will be using these will be put like for, for nothing but foiling and my dies. And they actually, I asked them if they would do a sheet on regular paper, just on typing paper. And it came out beautiful as well. So, I mean, if you don't want to do the inkjet on the sheet of, you know, bring your own 120 pound, the, that's what I got before, 120 pound uh, Gina K luxury paper for my Copics. But this 140 pound paper is it has a coating on it and I'm telling you it for your alcohol markers excuse me for your alcohol markers it just glides on that paper it just I can't even I'm gonna do a video to show you but anyway this is on regular typing paper and this is on so you can foil your heart out and this is the look at how thick this board is it's gorgeous and this is it done. You cannot tell the difference on regular typing paper. So anyway, I wanted to give a shout out for that. And there we go. And I picked up some more at Walmart of this big white foam because it's Elmer's foam. And this is nine, nine by 12 sheets. And they had these at Walmart. They're the uh, detail brushes, paint brushes. So I got a pack of those. They're beautiful. They look really nice inside. So check out Walmart for that. And then, oh, this is stylus they have for my iPad because I use a stylus. And then. This is where I get the beautiful erasers that don't show, they work beautifully. They just, off any project, you don't get any of that oily residue. And uh, so I bought some to gift out. And then I get my calligraphy <coughs> quick markers, excuse me, from there, the double-ended calligraphy ink markers. And then this is a Staedtler permanent marker for your has the thick tip and it has for journaling the fine tip on it so um, these are nice to have yes I just popped out for an hour look at the damage you can do in an hour and then I like my four inch binders these great big four inch D binders I'm going I have so many dies I have to get organized here and they had I'm gonna do some jewelry with my grandchildren and they had this bead spinner and all you do is hold your needle down in here with the thread and it automatically goes up it spins look at beads thread automatically right or left-handed isn't that amazing couldn't believe it and uh, I thought that's awesome you don't have to sit there and poke your pin through all of these crazy little beads. And I have tons of beads I've collected over the years. You know, the tiny beads. I'm trying to see how much it was. 
it was on for $14 on sale from 20 so that's awesome I'm gonna start delving into that because my grandkids like that my younger grandkids so let's get on to the video I don't think you want to see that stuff nail polish and stuff so anyway this is as far as I've gotten on here here's my hello that we will put down and then I'm shutting down the mink and let's take this out and save this foil I can't say it enough for all the other projects you have and this is how I cut them out it's just beautiful I'll be foiling forever I'm telling you this is awesome look at that isn't that beautiful it's just let me see if you can see that it's just gorgeous so I will be putting that on the inside right here and I'm going to set that aside to put it away and then on my last video I showed how I just quickly take the ink stains and this one is Victorian velvet and do the backs of your foiling in case they come up you want to have it nice on the back right I'm really like I really like that I don't like to have white showing so there we are and you just need to take a piece of paper towel right underneath me here sop that up and sop that off of your gold foil which comes out nicely there you go isn't that beautiful yes I love it okay so we have that for the inside and then what I thought I would do is I should have ran this with my stick stick it but I guess I'm going to have to use my Tombow this is the uh, clear and I'll put it on here I should be actually um, going and showing you how that other thing turned out which I will I was in a good frame of mind to just sit and craft and then I was halfway through this video when my daughter-in-law came over and said hey I'm running out shopping would you like to go with me well hello of course so and I had to pick up my case of 140 pound cardstock there before they used it <laughs> just kidding they wouldn't do that okay I'm going to put this down like that and then I will grab the back of a sheet of paper. Isn't that funny? We go to grab paper and there's no paper right here. I think I'll grab paper towel and for the glue's sake put that on there. This is going to be a pretty card. Just a minute there. Move it over, Ted. That's the beauty of it. And the glue comes off the foil just beautifully. There we go. I mean, I wouldn't want to. There. Isn't that beautiful? And then I took out the some beading I'm going to use right here on the top just so that you can see this here. I am going to run this so you don't see the corners here as much. So I'll run this across. Let me pick it up a minute. First I need this here to, sh to cover this. It doesn't show. Put 
Mm. I don't think two will fit there. Let's see. One, two. My dog, Cinnamon, is snoring. Can you hear her? That's crazy. <laughs> if I call her, she'll jump. She'll come into my crafter, so I have to let her go. If you hear that, isn't that pretty? That is so nice, and that this just flips out, hopefully. Yeah, that's good I did that. Let's see here, so this flips out. There we go. Okay, so we have that like that. Isn't that cute? And then you have these pop-up things that when you close this like that, I'll probably put a little something on there to hold it um, because my cards are so many layers on here. I don't think I'm... Well, we'll see. I'll leave that there. So I thought what I would do is take this little one that I had um, made that one sheet and I die cut from the one sheet of foiled paper and I am going to do a hello with the you can see you can tell I was working very seldom do I like work on a project just sitting here without filming it because I figure if I'm going to craft something I might as well film it and um, yeah so I did last night though I got ready and to prepare this card sometimes there's a little bit of preparation so let's get some gold on there put that in there and this is the metallic gold stays on upside down and oh there goes my glue and then I thought I would just put that like that Just a bit. Whoa. There we are. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Let me show you. I'll have a little hello on there. Can you see that with the gold? Isn't that pretty? So I wanted to put that. These are bothering me. Because they are not going to... Just let me take them off. It's going to make it hard to close this card because of those. I'm going to have to think up something else. So leave those there. So what I want to do with this is grab another here. And we're going to have it. I might put this at the top of here. So crazy pretty. Just a second, let me get this here. A little hair or something got on there. So they have uh, Jennifer McGuire and uh, Christina Werner have that new um, masquerade for masking uh, class on online classes. So I joined that. It starts tomorrow. $28. I'm sure everybody knows that. That gets their email. So I, I joined up on there. Because I loved, I have all the masking stuff and I just bought that liquid masking. I, I'm hoping that they use that. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Look at that stand out. I love this dye. It is worth it. Was in its own, it was $20 US, $21 plus tax. So once you get your other butterflies up on here, it's going to be awesome. And you don't have to have them like dead on. Like this is going to fit like that. And then I am going to put um, this flower here. I was tying a bow. Or, I'm sorry, a knot. Uh, this is some of that organza ribbon I get at. This one I got at a yard sale just beautiful look at that and I am going to just hmm, 
double knot it. I'll double knot it. There. So we will take it like this and make it even. Tie a knot for my flower. That's what I want it for. So tie, tie a flat knot like so. Turn it around like this. And which way am I coming up on here? Like so. Not pretty. There we are. And that's going to go down here. I'm going to plug in my glue gun. One of my cords here. And then I'm going to do some coloring this afternoon to show you. So until I do that, let me transfer this. This is going, as soon as my glue gun's ready, this is going there. And we will put this one together. How's that? I took these out. I thought this would be nice for behind there too, using these round circles. Let me show you. Let me take one out here. I have so much bling and embellishments I have to be using. So I thought of these circles are so nice and I thought of putting them behind here like so and just tipping this card up even like that. Let's see how that goes. Perfect. I'm just grabbing different things around my room to use. Isn't that pretty? You have that behind there. Let me show you that. Isn't that cute? So I'll show you this. I'll put some pictures up of this card finished. And it is a vintage card. So I think I'm going to put a little lock on here. It's really pretty. Okay, so let's move on. This flower is going to go on the front and then that one will be finished. This is nice. And this is what I mean with taking these and folding them right away. Because they stick to everything. There, and it still folds over, but you don't get that stickiness. Okay. Move that over. I love a desk that's, you know, being used. It can drive me nuts, but... Okay, so... That's going on my flower. Here's what I did with this. On the last video when it cut out, I have a sheet of paper. I put double-sided tape on all of it. And this is 120 pound Gina K. It's not the 140 pound, so it has some give to it. And see how I took put the piece of paper, um, I cut it out. If you look at video number one, I cut, I die cut it. It's a six and a half by six and a half, but my card base is only five by five. So I put this down, cut it out, and then I situated it onto my cardstock with liquid glue. And then I put some of the distress paint here. And this is Isn't that funny. Sometimes you can't read these. Uh, bundled sage. And I just put it around here just to give it some age. And then these just pop up like this. You can use your bone folder, but you really don't need it. And this pops up like this. And it's glued on. Like that. Come on. This one's stuck. Oh, I have... Um, Okay, and go like that, and then this comes out on its own like that. But I'm going to tip that like that because I want to get my bone folder out. There we go. Okay, and then you just turn it over and take your scissors and cut around it because I distress all the edges. 
so it doesn't matter that I, I don't need to put it through my um, cutter. I just do it this way and then use my distress tool. I love these long scissors. There we go. And even if it's not even on there, it's fine because, like I said, when you grab your distress tool, wherever it is on this desk of mine, um, there it is. I see it peeking through. When you do this, you aren't going to look at it. It isn't going to matter. And this is why I like. Then you just I like um, vintage cards. Then you just take your distress stain and you've automatically you don't need a uh, you've automatically colored it you don't need to have a tool to do it with your ink the stain has the applicator on the top I think it's awesome I love the stains so there you have it and then I took the next page the piece I wanted here and I put down my die like this on here just exactly how it was cut so put I put my paper up like this and obviously this one is a little bit off but that's okay because that's why I embellish it I cut it out wrong I put it like this and I traced it on the paper on the bottom so I knew where to cut out when I traced it, I just went in a little bit and then you just erase it if that makes any sense and then you can take this on because all I did was put the double sided tape quickly on there and I'll show you like this and uh, you're set to go now if anybody is interested in that 140 pound cardstock email me and I'll give you what information that I do have on it that I, I, I just told you, but I could probably get you some cardstock and mail it out or mail you with some of what I have so you can test it. And um, I know Mary Berry just got a mink over on Stamp Nation. And if you are interested in trying a few sheets, Mary, just email me and I'll certainly send you out some sheets. And then just take your stain, go around here. It's like instant. Not nice. And then you don't have any lines on the inside. Look how quick this is. There we go. With the stain. Then I'm going to start up, finish these up, and post the finished picture. I just wanted you to see how I do this. And what shows in here isn't going to matter because, like I said, I grabbed the distress tool like this because everybody knows I love to distress and then grab this and you've covered your white cardstock. Isn't that pretty? 